In deze aflevering gaan we kijken wat de Dragons, de Seven Dragons of, Dragons of London, te maken hebben met deze case. Ik weet eigenlijk nog niet eens wat de case is. Laten we eerst eens even gaan kijken of hier toevallig van die vet coole hinthuntjes verstopt zijn. Ja, toevallig wel. Dat moet... Uh... Oeh, een puzzel in de bosjes zelfs. Dat is nog leuk, hè? Oh, there's something caught on this leaf here. What is it? It's a puzzle, miss. Oh, I say I'd love to see you solve it. Dan gaan we dat even doen. Wij zijn de moeilijkste niet. Puzzle 32. Message in the sand. A mysterious message has been written in the sand. It seems to say... Un. Which of the four people do you think the message is about? We hebben Susan, Michael, John en Kate. Dit moet toch John zijn? Dit is. Zien jullie mijn. Ja, jullie zien mijn muis. Dit is de J-O-H-N. Maat. De puzzels in deze game zijn dan toe makkelijk. Veel makkelijker dan in de reguliere Latent Games. Wat? Dit kan je niet eens een puzzel noemen. Oké. Okay. There. I show that puzzle who's boss, didn't I? I must say it's an unusual place to find one. Perhaps there's, uh, uh, it's here to entertain people while they're waiting for the film to start. Ja, of het was gewoon een in-game mechanic. Oké, okay. mevrouw Loanida met een puzzel. Good evening, Pipper. Catriel, I wasn't expecting you to see uh, to see you here. No, well, in truth, films aren't my thing, but I'm here for the popcorn. Ha, uh, I don't doubt it. I didn't realize you were one of the Seven Dragons of London. Oh, that's really my father's influence. Uh, but I don't think of myself as a millionaire. I think of myself as London's mayor, nothing more. And that's a very worthy title. Not everyone was, uh, has what it takes uh, to be mayor in a city like this one. Ha, you're too kind, Catriel, but it's always nice to receive a compliment. Now then, there's something I'd like to introduce you to. Um, someone, sorry. This is a friend of mine, Mr. Phineas T. Bernon. Howdy, it's a real pleasure to meet you. Uh, so you're Ka this Catriel Leiden I've been hearing about, eh? Ha ha ha. Pippers told me all kinds of stories about ya. All good, <laughs> all good, don't you worry. Uh, I've been just dying to meet ya. Well, it's an honor, uh, sorry. Well, it's an honor to meet you too, Miss Barnone. You're on the VIP guest list, I presume? Ha ha ha, VIP guest list, that's a good one. Uh, you'll be saying I want a ticket next. Oh, so what's, uh, what is... In what capacity are you here then? I was under the permission uh, you either had to win a ticket or be invited especially. Ha, uh, <laughs> you don't have a clue who I am, don't you, do ya? Well, I, uh, I tell you that. Uh, I'll set you a little puzzle. If you can solve it, I will fill you in. Play your cards right. Mm, here we have a f uh, five playing cards. A certain number of them are missing in a section at the top right, which is the same shape as the corner of a playing card. Ik denk dat ik daar zo meteen, um, uh, dat zo meteen het plaatje daarvan zie. Uh, it's possible to arrange them without fully overlapping them, so uh, that none of the missing areas are visible. Okay. Um, arranged like that, how many cards with missing pieces uh, could be there? What's the maximum of number of cards that could have be uh, could have a missing piece? Vier? I 
I've seen how to solve this now. Oh, it is five, then. Good, good, Catriel, not good. It is five. Ik kom er heel even op terug. Ik denk dat het vijf is, namelijk. This is an interesting one. Ja, zie je. Je kan er een omdraaien en dan kan je je duim er nog zo op leggen. Oh. Lol. Dat kan ook. Ha <laughs> ha they told me you were good at puzzles, and they were right. Sorry I wasn't trying to touch you or nothing, I just wanted to see it with my own eyes. See, I'm a big fan of detective work. Well, I ho uh, hope I didn't disappoint you. On the contrary, so uh, we had a deal, didn't we? Let me tell you about all about me, ha <laughs> ha I'm the manager of the Savloy. You see, the Savloy being the greatest darn theater in the West End, bar none. Ha ha ha, I'm the one who's, pu uh, who's put on this screen in. Oh, you mean uh, you own the Savloy? That's right. Now I hear you blew uh, Pip's little festival plot out of the water. <laughs> uh, I was wondering uh, what kind of girl you were and now I see, mighty fine. Well, I hope uh, you enjoy the show. After all, if it thanks, uh, if it thanks, I won't make any money out of it, will I? <laughs> well, the truth is, I'm really here for the popcorn, not the film. Ah, the all-new durian flavor, you mean? Ah, uh, um, you know, I come I came up with it myself. You have to keep thinking of new ideas if you want to, uh, your customers to keep coming back, right? I just let Pip uh, try it, as it happens. Uh, not her cup of tea at all. <laughs> I see you're involved with all inspectors, uh, aspects of the business. How interesting. Well, that popcorn certainly has a unique flavor. Perhaps a little too unique. A good example of effort not necessarily producing results. Uh, I'll just uh, I judge that for myself, I think. Now where did you get it? It's on sale at the kiosk back there. Show them your uh, coupon and uh, they'll give you a thup. Ah look, that old doubly uh, over by the kiosk there. Madame Doublé to, uh, to you. Uh, you should introduce yourself. Madame Doublé? Uh, is she not a member of the Seven Dragons? Ha <laughs> ha! Gretchen Dubli is the name you do well to remember, Miss Leighton. Um, and a word of adv uh, advice, never forget Madame. She controls a whopping great empire of businesses stretching right across the globe, you know. Yeah, she's practically breathed money. Uh, they used to say that uh, the sun would never set on a British empire. Well, if that's a metaphor, uh, if that metaphor holds any uh, water at all, Madame uh, Doublé <laughs> uh, would be the sun. Haha! <laughs> she's getting clue that she's the clue that holds uh, us all together. The mother dragon, you could say. I see. Well, she certainly sounds larger than life. If you want your detective agency to save, uh, to have any chances to success. Um, I would be a wise move. It would be a, a wise move to befriend Madame Doublé, Catriel. Hmm. I suppose detective work does rely on maintaining good relations with people. It's true. I could uh, just say hello uh, when I queue up for my, uh, the popcorn. While you queue up for your popcorn, you really haven't grasped how important she is, have you? Here we are at last, the kiosk. Time to sample the all new popcorn delight. Oh no. What's the matter? There's no uh, there's no one at the kiosk. I won't be able to get my popcorn. 
Never mind, miss. How about uh, introducing ourselves to Madame Doublé instead? Ah, so near and yet so far. You mustn't be down in the mouth, miss. Remember, Mr. Barnone said she could be a very useful contact. Yes, alright. Let's say a quick hello then. Hmm. Uh, do you know which lady she is? I suspect that lady over there might be who we're looking for. Ah, uh, yes, I think you might be right. She certainly stands out as being affluent. Kijk, Monies. Oh! Teenage muntjes, kabooming! Sander zou zeker weten kabooming zeggen als teenage muntjes zou vinden. En een puzzeling! Boyo. Oké. Okay. Oh, I see, miss. A hidden puzzle. Look! Well found, Ernest. Why don't you solve it? Uh, why don't you solve it? Seeing as you found it. Me? Oh, um, well, alright then. I can't uh, very well shy away from a puzzle and still claim to be the worthy assistant of the great detective Catriel Leyden, I suppose. <sighs> Cozy up the chicks. Oh, okay, volgens mij deel 1 niet eens veel. Maar oké. Okay. Use the uh, three enclosures to make a bed for the chicks. Uh, slide the enclosures uh, so that all of the chicks are contained. Oké. Okay. Hmm. Ik denk dat deze hier moet. Kijk, easy winning. Lekker. Oh, top drawer! I did it. Well, Ernest, that was a very uh, that was very impressive. Anyone would think you were um, vying for my position as chief detective. Oh no, Miss, never! I'm quite content as your assistant. More than quite content. Very content. Extremely content. Hij is gewoon een beetje eng. Oké, okay, wacht. Nee, oké. Okay. Nummer voor jou. Mm, excuse me, you wouldn't happen to be Madame Doublé, would you? Indeed I would. And you are? I'm Catriel Leyden from Leyden Detective Agency. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Madame. Oh, the uh, Leyden Detective Agency, you say? Now where have I heard that name before? Ah, you must be the famous Herschel Leyden's daughter, are you? How is the professor? Is he in good health? Uh, I think so. You think so? Um, well, no, I mean, he's very well. Yes, thank you. Uh, I'll be sure to mention it to him uh, that I met you. Yes, please do. Tell him I would be very much, uh, I would very much like to meet when uh, he's next available. I wish I could Goodness, it's nearly time for the show. I promised myself a little tibble, a tipple before it begins. Do excuse me. Well done, Miss Layton. I think you made an impression. Well, I don't know, Ernest. All this uh, hobnobbing with the rich and famous is uh, taking its toll on my nerves. Oh, I don't believe it. Over there, look. It's, it's Maverick the Erector. Oh. Director, wow. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Maverick Director. 
thank you all for coming to see the premiere of my new film. I hope you enjoy a naval advance. No suck for love. The screening is about to begin, so if you all like to make uh, your way to your seats. Oh my giddy aunt, I can't believe it, it's the real Maverick director, Miss Layton. Uh, I've never seen the real Maverick director before. Uh, but you never, uh, but you have seen the fake one? No, I didn't mean, oh, there's no time for that. The film is about to start, we must take our seats. Aren't you forgetting something, Ernest? First, I have to redeem this coupon for my durian popcorn. Oh, and look, the kiosk attendant has returned. But what if the film starts while you're waiting for it? Everyone else is already inside. Quickly, miss, we must hurry. Ah, uh, yes, sorry for the wait, ma'am. We have a full house tonight, and with all VIP guests demanding attention, ha, <laughs> yes, it's quite busy, it, it quite busy, I'm afraid. Well, I see, well, anyway, I believe this coupon entitles me from, for some free popcorn, the new durian flavor. Ah, uh, yes, that's correct, ma'am. However, the future is uh, about to begin, I think. So, uh, yes, please uh, take your seats uh, um, immediately. I'm sorry, miss, but we really must go in now. Uh, hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome! Welcome to the premiere screening of my latest work, A Naval Advance, No Sub for Love. The story begins with a young couple who meet in a ramshackle old cinema out in the sticks. The man wants to become a film director, whilst the girl nurses her dream of being an actress as she uh, waits tables in a local cafe. A turn of events sees a pair of luxury cruise ships together. Uh, and they fall more and more in love as the time goes on. But then something terrible happens. The ship, a relic from the ancient civilization, starts to sink into sea. The situation is desperate. There seems to be no way out. The couple are doing everything they can to survive. <laughs> well, I think I'd better stop there. I don't want to spoil the enjoyment of the story after all. I'll just finish uh, by saying that this film is the accumulation of years of work and marks. I believe the pinnacle of my career. I'm sure you're all going to love it. Of course, I would never have been. It would never have been possible without the support of many people, the fantastic actors, the cameraman, and the woman and woman. Um, the sound crew, my assistant uh, artistic directors, the editing staff and above all my wife who has been constant source of encouragement and never stops believing in me. I would like to say enormous thank you once again to everyone involved with the production. So without further ado I present you to you a naval advance, no sub for love. Whoa. 
What's going on? What's happened to my film? Why is it got there? No, this isn't right. The lost scene, the kissing, the big finale. Someone has stolen it. No. Excuse me, Mr. Barony. Barnon. Bar Barnon? Barnon. Has everyone left now? Yep, that's the end of that. Uh, we've had to cancel the screening, so uh, I sent everyone home. You're a friend of Miss Layton's uh, now, aren't ya? Well, I'm not sure if friend is the right word, but well, I'm Emily, uh, Emiliana Perfetti. Uh, I'm a case analyst and a profiler at Scotland Yard. This theft of uh, the cinematic uh, scene of the film is a very uh, serious offense. Uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some questions about it. Yes, could you tell us uh, what you know about the events leading up to the discovery of the missing scene? Catriel, what are you still doing here and why is that hound with you? Hey! Well, everyone else has left now, so I thought Cheryl could help sniff out clues. We don't need any sniffing around here. Keep your nose and your dog's nose out of business that doesn't concern you. But it does concern us. Mr. Barnum personally requested that I stay and help. Hmm. You bet I did. <coughs> Talk about luck, having a Scotland Yard officer and a private eye on the side. Um, anyway, I'd like to ask both of you to help figure out what happened here. Who the heck cut that kiss scene out of the film, huh? If everyone can solve this case, uh, it's the woman who figured out that, uh, uh, that Riverside Festival shenanigans. Isn't that right, Catriel? Uh, you'll uh, take on the case, won't ya? Well, I couldn't very well turn down uh, you down after that uh, glowing praise, could I? Of course I'll take the case, and any mystery solved, that's my motto. Mr. Barnum, please, I'm more than capable of handling this case. Leave it to the experts at Scotland Yard. No, no, I'm just, uh, I'm not saying I don't think you're a talented detective as well, Mr. Perfetti. But uh, a little competition should make both work harder. Va bene. Um, you'll soon see that uh, I pinpoint the truth much more quickly than this so-called detective. Uh, that's the spirit. Good luck to the both of you. Well, don't just stand around here chatting to me. Uh, you better be running along to get uh, a statement from the old rector, hadn't you? Where is he now? Do you know? Sure do. He is right over there, still totally dumb uh, dumbfounded. Poor guy. Uh, he put his heart and soul into that final kiss scene. Uh, it's hard. Uh, it's kind of hard to understand why anyone uh, would have done this, I must admit. Um, still, that's for you two ladies to figure out, isn't it? Dat gaan wij wel uitvogelen, maar dat doen we wel de volgende aflevering. Bedankt voor het kijken van deze aflevering. Vond je het een leuke aflevering? Doe een duimpje hoog. Zie ik je graag de volgende keer weer. Adios, amigos.